welcome to the Arc Audio technical training series on the Arc Audio PS8 and the software user interface for the PS8. With our latest and greatest release, we're giving you all the details and step-by-step -step instructions to make sure that your experience is only the best. In this chapter, we're going to cover the setup and personalization of the new PS8 display graphic utility. We're going to show you some of the features on how to do things like channel naming, channel assignments, and so on, which is extremely important if you're planning on using our new PSC controller. Now, if you're just joining us, you may want to press pause on this and roll back to the first two videos in this series where we covered uh, how to install the software as well as also going over the new and improved uh, process for updating the firmware on the PS8 which is required for this new software to operate correctly and also if you want to use the new uh, PSC controller as well as we also showed you how to transfer the settings files from the original version of the PS8 software to the new PS8 uh, version 2 software that we're talking about in this series so that way you don't lose any of those settings files that you'd work so hard for you know in very uh, in your previous versions and previous installations so let's get started given that you've already installed the software we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring it up and we are connected to the processor right now and one of the cool features about this is there's no more pop-up box everything automatically updates the software from the PS8 so you are up to date and on the last known preset from the PS8 without having to sync to or from. You're always going to have the right settings on the screen that's active on the PS8 without questioning whether or not it's actually updated. So first things first, let's go ahead and go over to setup here and as you see we've already gotten this system started. We're labeling the output label channels for the purpose of a three-way active system. In this case I've got tweeters, mids, mid bass, and these two I will call sub because the fact that I have channel 7 and 8 running for a sub channel. And up here I've labeled these front left in and front right in. The labels are uh, character limited so sometimes you will have to abbreviate depending on what you want to use but you can define these specifically to your needs and this is especially important if you're coming back into an older system that you haven't used uh, done anything with in a long time it's much easier for you to recognize how that system was set up just make sure you click once you're all done click send labels also if you look on the screen you're going to see delay units now all of us are typically used to using milliseconds with the PS8, but other people like other uh, other forms of uh, delay units to be able to make their measurements and to be able to adjust for delay. So we have centimeters, millimeters, feet, and inches. And this is something that if you come up in the del delay panel, this will adjust as well as the representation of character. So we're going to come back to set up and you're also going to see the temperature units and you can change that from Celsius to Fahrenheit and this is something that is also displayed on the PSC controller. So aside from there we're going to come down here to outputs. Now if you're going to use the controller this panel is extremely important because you have to assign what the output channels do. So in this case front left tweeter I have front left, front right tweeter I have front right, front left mid, See, I got a nice little selection. I can select from front left, front right, rear left, rear right, center, and base. In this case, it's front left. And you can see that I've selected almost everything down here. Now I've got my mid base on the rears. Now, some people will just put everything on the front because it's in the front of the car, right? Well, that's the nice part about this is you can be creative. Since I'm doing no rear fill on this system, I actually like to have the ability to actually adjust the level of the mid base drivers by themselves so I can use the fader control to adjust that level through the controller uh, on the fly while I'm driving and also sub I've set channel 7 and channel 8 for base that way I can actually use the sub level uh, control on the controller and have it assigned to wherever I want say I have the subs up on channel 1 I can easily set that as, up as, a, as a base as well so that's the basis of the setup of the PS8 and a couple really other quick notes here if you ever call in for technical support and we ask you about the software or firmware and you're saying you're having troubles uh, getting that information the second you're connected you're automatically updated always look for the USB connected you can see your software version this is your PSC controller firmware version as well as also the versions for the PS8 firmware in this case 201070 and temperature and battery voltage. Well, that's about it. That's a real quick overview of the actual PS8 software and utility and 
One thing I can also really push is whenever you're tuning, let this button be your friend. This is the meters. As I closed it before, uh, with it all laid out, everything is already uh, in place. But these are some great tools that we're going to show you through this series on how to use to do things like setting your uh, input, uh, output gains, signal summing, and so on. And another great feature as well, you can actually size the screens to whatever your needs are, up, down, whichever you want, simply based upon the screen available on your computer. Well, that's it for now. We hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next chapter. Good luck and good tuning.